everyone and welcome to Adult Hands-On with the Rapid City Public Library. My name's Allie and this month for the month of February we are going to be making candles at home. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what we have in our take and make kits today and make our candles. Now before we get started I just want to give a quick warning. We are going to be working with hot materials today. Your wax is going to be hot and your container is going to be hot. So make sure that you are careful when you are working today. In your take and make kit, you should have an instruction sheet, wax, three different stickers, including a warning label, your candle holder, which is just a tin holder with the top, a wick, a wick placement guide, a glue dot, some dye, and some essential oil. I have green and eucalyptus for mine. So let's get started. Our first step is to take one of our stickers, the one with the quote on it, and we're gonna put that on the top of the candle tin. Just a little bit of decoration so that the tin is not so plain. And then we're gonna take this long one and we're going to wrap it around the candle tin. Just all the way around. Great. And last, but definitely not least, we need to flip our candle tin over and put the warning sticker on. And this just says to make sure to keep away from flammable objects, burn within sight, keep away from children and pets, and it has burning instructions as well. And you can write what fragrance you have on here on the bottom when you're done. So our next step, we're going to open up our candle tin and we're going to take our wick and our glue dot. And you wanna peel off one side of your glue dot Stick your wick onto it, pull it on out of there, and stick it right into the middle of your candle tin. And kind of give it a good press down. Next, you're going to take your wick fixing clip and just center it. And this holds our wick in place when we are pouring the wax in. So, our next step, you're going to need a glass measuring cup for. So I have my glass measuring cup, and we're going to take our wax, and we're gonna empty about half of our wax into our glass measuring cup. Now the reason I say use a glass measuring cup is because it has a nice spout on it that we can use to pour our wax once it's melted into the tin. So I'm going to microwave this on high for one minute, stirring in one minute intervals, and then I'm going to add the rest of it, and I'll be right back with my melted wax. All right, now I've got my melted wax in here. And be careful because your container will be hot as well. But next we're going to open up our dye blocks and we're going to add that whole bag in. Stir it around and it should start to melt. And just keep stirring until those dye blocks melt all the way. So you can see my wax is already starting to change colors. It's that nice green color. So by the way, it took me about four minutes to melt my wax all the way on high heat. 
it might take you a little bit less time, a little bit more, depending on your microwave. And these color blocks are melting pretty fast. I just have one little chunk left, and then we can move on to the next step. But keep stirring so that that color is distributed evenly within your wax. And there we go. Next, we're going to take our essential oil and open it up and we're gonna add a few drops. And this is completely up to you how much you would like to add depending on what your scent preferences are. I added a dropper and a half of mine. So we're gonna stir that up again really well. Make sure that you blend completely. Now we are ready to pour. So we're going to carefully pour our wax into our tin. Just nice and smoothly pour all of it into there. Almost all of it. You want to leave yourself about a quarter room of headspace. So I actually have some extra. quarter inch of headspace. So I have a little bit of extra wax and that's okay. But basically you want to let this set and you can take this off now or you can leave it on depending on how stiff your your wick is. But you want to leave this to set for at least 24 hours. So you can move it really carefully somewhere but do be careful because this is very very hot. So let it set for 24 hours, and then you can trim your wick, light your candle, and enjoy it. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me as we made our candles today. Make sure to let your candle cool all the way before you light it, and remember to trim your wick as well until it's about a quarter of an inch high. There's also instructions on how to trim your wick and on that bottom sticker that we put on the bottom of your tin. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at the email address that's on your instruction sheet. Otherwise, thanks so much for joining us. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more crafts and everything like that. And we hope to see you next time here at the Rapid City Public Library. Thanks, friends. Bye.